No! I am the most powerful! Hey there, and welcome back to Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, the game! Finally! Yep, after a long time of inactivity, I am finally back with more progress on the G1 Total Conversion Mod. With the next character, who probably is not who you were expecting, but I will get into why that is. So we're just gonna get straight into this. I don't want to waste any time. High res G1 colors star scream. Now, before you go out cussing me out yelling, Barricade, what the f is this? Where's Devastator? Hear me out, okay? You have no idea how much work it was to make this guy. I, like, seriously, you might think, oh, it was just a simple recolor. No, 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 no. The most difficult part about this little... was detatting him. I had to take out every single tattoo on this guy's beautiful body to make him clean. That was not fun. This might have been one of the most frustrating skins I've ever had to do. But, but, the result is beautiful. The result is beautiful. And you don't know just how good high res makes this guy look. But I'm going to show you just how good high resolution makes him look by doing a start of something new for this channel, a comparison, but in a much more detailed, orderly fashion. So, I'm actually going to hop off the game and get you an up and close look at high res G1 Color Star Screen. So, right here is a detailed look at a semi complete model of the original G1 Color Star Screen. I went through the process of learning to rip stuff from games, and it's not. It's not for the faint of heart, okay? It's not. You know, it's a very time-consuming process, although if you're efficient about it, you can usually get a model a day fully put together and whatnot, but having access to models that I can look at and get detailed looks all around makes skinning so, so much easier. You, you can't imagine just how much time I'm going to save in skinning stuff. This, is, this was also essential for characters that you will see coming down the line fairly soon. But this is a detailed look at the original G1 Colors Starscream. Now, as you know, his dimensions are 1024 by 1024, right? And you can see, you know, it's not terrible, but it's not, you know, wonderful. But yeah, that's... That is the 1024 original. Here's mine. That alone was worth this time, patience, and blood, sweat, and tears to get this from the high res 2048 by 2048 texture was, despite how much time and pain it took, it was totally worth it. It really was. This skin turned out beautifully. I won't go through many um, unnecessary details, you know. Think of, it, think of it more as a general showcase. He generally follows the pattern of the uh, TFG enhanced version. Basically the same idea, but I was able to throw in a lot more detail. I'll just point out the more significant stuff I've done. Um, his torso panel has that new circle. Which I actually skinned myself, I believe. Which, really like that touch, you know. I really want to get this as close to a final version that I could. And the 2048 image allowed me to put in a lot more detail. Now, I guarantee you there's some stuff that's not totally right, but we will work on that as time goes on. Uh, he does have his uh, 71st Squad logo on his chest. He's got a purple con symbol on his head. It's a little 
wonky, but it serves its purpose fine for now. Uh huh. I, mean, I love his back. His back. His back has some new added color points with the blue on the edge there and those two blue symbols on his butt, I guess. It's also got the classic uh, Seeker logo like that the um, Tetra was the game version had. Follows the same wing pattern as the uh, Seekers in my Seeker pack. Sa same general pattern for that. Yeah, his hands are a little incomplete at the moment because I hate putting together hands. Starscream is one of the easier models you could put together. But, you know, even then. I also made a new change in the sense that I added... I made his, uh, this section of his legs blue. Instead of, like, being previously white, I updated his deco a little bit. He used to have, like, some pieces on the front of his legs here, but I removed those and just made it imitate the other Seeker pattern. Yeah. I think those are the only real important things to mention. There's some other interior detail work that I won't get into. Let's see, with models like this, I can get a lot more smaller details to be accurate, because it's just... It saves so much time, you cannot imagine just how much time it will save. Oh yeah, I also added in the... I think I added the new, like, I guess, edge for this red spot over here on his chest. I dare, yeah, I made it so the points kind of follow. It's actually pretty accurate as far as I can tell. But yeah, let me tell you. I'm sorry it took this long, but... It was necessary because I wanted to get this right and clearing out those tats was not fun at all. It wasn't. But it's done. You're about to see uh, more skins of Starscream down the line based off of his tattoo list look. So be ready for those down the line. Um, I'll go pull up some jet reference real quick. So here is a detailed look at the. Uh, original jet textures. Now, I'll just go right off the bat and saying this is actually the Transformers the game model with the uh, Revenge of the Fallen textures, or at least half of the Revenge of the Fallen textures, because I am not going to put that jet model together because it is too many separate meshes for such a complicated thing. When the Dark of the Moon one is one mesh, once I get access to that, I'll use that more. But for the sake of showcasing, this will do just fine. So, as you can see, it's pretty condensed, you know, it's got that, uh, unique pattern on the belly of the jet. Nothing super fancy, but here it is compared to the new one. Now, bear in mind there'll be a few, um, inconsistencies with, between this and the in-game version, mainly the, uh, vertical stabilizers. That's the, one of the main differences, but otherwise it'll generally look like this. Now, I will admit, the jet mode was a lot easier to clear out of tattoos than the robot mode, because, oddly enough, most of the textures for the jet are pretty much mirrored, in a sense. I know they have different tattoos, but generally they're the same, so... It wasn't too bad, but I probably put more work into this than I care to admit. Um, yeah, it does not have the same uh, pattern as the original version because I want, I want to go for something unique. So that's what I did here. Another thing is that the uh, a lot of these Seeker logos um, will be on only one side of the jet, I believe. He's supposed to have one on this. He does have, have one on his wings. But you'll, I'll showcase it in game shortly here, but generally speaking, This was a brutal one to do, but like I said, Starscream was one of those characters that needed, really needed high-res textures, and it shows oh so much. It, it really does. So yeah. Yeah, this saves, this saved me a lot of time, a lot of pain. Yeah, that's about all I could show in Blender. I'll jump back to the game now. 
Okay, so back in game, I pretty much showed you robot mode as well as I can. So I'll just showcase you a uh, jet form and how it's probably supposed to look. Yep, he's got uh, one seeker logo on his left wing. And he's got the um, two seeker logos on the bottom of the jet. I actually uh, looked up reference straight from FT2 Raptors and yeah, they only have one... I guess Air Force logo on the wing, and only the same thing with the bottom ones. Only on one wing, at least according to my reference. I know it may not seem like much, I know, I admit that. It may not seem like much, like right now, but believe me, you get up, you get an up close look at it, it is amazing. Especially compared to the old one. Alright. Well, now that I've showcased Starscream, I think it's only fitting we get back to, um, some mission-esque things, so I am going to take, no, I'm going to take an Autobot and battle Starscream, just to make something a bit interesting, so... So I figured we'd bring back our old boy, Breakaway. Take on the Decepticon Starscream and check out his snazzy new icon up there. Alright. Take on that Starscream. That's a weird looking Combaticon. What is it? Is it? Hmm, what was that all about? Hmm, how about that? Alright, Screamer. I'm gonna ruin your whole career. Oh, oh, he nailed me. Stop it! Overheat him. Oh, that was smart. Come on, Screamer. Honestly, I think Starscream's tougher than Megatron. You sneaky little beast! I'm gonna ruin you! No, you. Come back here, Screamer. We ain't done. Fly away, little boy. Dodge that. Oh no! Look at that. That's that's real interesting. Look at that. Mm. Whatever could that be? Oh, go away. Is that another scout or something? I don't care about him. I want Starscream. Boom. Nope. You... You are smart. Okay, just a minute. I'm dealing with it. Stop it, Starscream. Stop. Just a minute. Let me deal with this Joker. Alright. I'm gonna end him. And there you have high res G1 colors Starscream. It should go without saying this guy's gonna replace the regular Starscream. You know, well, you kind of just figured that because we just battled him, but y you get the idea. Now, I know some of you might have been disappointed with this, but but there's more. In order to make up of my lack of activity, I'm going to give you not one, not two, 
not free, but four back to back to back to back videos on Revenge of the Fallen. Four of them to make up for how long I've been gone. And since we finished all of the main casts, basically speaking, that only leaves uh, drones and whatnot. So, these four characters are all follow a specific group. You could probably guess where the hints are going with this, so... They'll be coming real soon. Real soon now. They're pretty much all set to go, but... They'll be coming along pretty soon. Also, since G1 Color Starscream plays his regular Starscream, I'm gonna need a bit of a... a bit of help here. Since G1 Color Starscream is replacing regular Starscream, what alternate Seeker skin should I do for the regular G1 Color Starscream. I'm, I'm leaning toward a G1 Color's Acid Storm, but I'm open for other options here, so give me some feedback. There'll be a poll card up above. Uh, let me know which Seeker you think would work best, but... But big stuff coming. Big stuff coming. So, I will see you in the next episode. So, I hope you're in it for the long haul. Later.